Okay, hi. Um, I have been recently uh, working the car in Python. Uh, we visited all the uh, dust studios that had uh, amazing improvements over the entire car in Python, as well as the new project, the car in Python 2 and the new car in Python 4. So, the things that you see on the screen right now are in the environment of the light studio for MetaHuman. So, I can switch uh, different lighting facets on them. And the shadows and everything looks pretty awesome. Some of those presets will be more heavy on their performance, so will be lighter. I can rotate the characters against the light. I can rotate the characters with the entire scene and the camera as well. So can change lighting if I want to. So I also prepared some other characters. So this is like I said Camilla and I think Kevin are the name of those two characters. So those are the standard character creator three plus characters. And I don't know why you can see those polygons so badly on them. When I'm testing runtime uh, something happens to tessellation. So they get really, really rough. Uh, let's change lighting, maybe. Okay, so yeah, you can see that th there's a big difference. The man is a lot taller than the female character. Um, and he is not as muscular as some of the other characters that we're going to switch. So for example, this is G8, so you can as you say from the studio, the characters don't have um, so dominant and visible collarbones. They also have different back structures, so they're more smooth, a little bit stylized, I would say, or just not as skinny as the other characters. Uh, if we change to the next one, so to the standard character creator tree, they're the same height as the studios, but the man is jacked like really ripped and has very square face and yeah the back on both of those characters are very muscular and yeah this is how they look and this is the character creator for standard characters and uh, without any features and clothes they look like this and i can also switch animations this is the standard idol Got like six items from the Mega uh, Animation Pack from Cobalt. Uh, the way that the uh, neck is skinned to the back uh, makes me want not to move the neck very much in animations, just rotate it maybe, but not uh, up and down as it is controlling some parts of the back as well. Uh, okay, this is the showcase animation. And here guy is also a bit jacked, but he's not as ripped as the other one. But if we change to character creator 3. Like this guy. He's a giant breast. I think I like those characters the best. Because of how normal they look and they give you um, a lot of place for morphs and just adding features to the character looks instead of having very distinguished features straight from the start. Uh, same goes for the for the Genesis character, they are very generic and they don't even have such a very strong uh, gender visual features, which means that they will be also a lot easier to sculpt and modify. And I like how they are, um, they don't have all the bones, all the muscle features so uh, visible, uh, because they will be a lot easier to put outfits on. And a lot easier to apply more targets from the character to the outfits themselves. 
those characters. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe those. CC3 plus G8 CC3 and CC4. And I also added a few more animations to check in on them. So this is the one you've seen, but there's also a speaking animation, and you can compare the facial features when they are speaking. Uh, so if I now change characters, it will actually transfer to other characters. But the Facial features when speaking, they're not, they're just moving the mouth, they're moving the eyes. Yeah, it's, it's fine. They have some expressions. And even, it, it even transfers to, to the characters that were converted from the studio. But on character creator three and four, it, it just looks the best. Especially if you have a recent animation. Yeah, I just noticed that his beard is not uh, correctly bound to, to his bones, so it's not moving. Okay. I got this walking animation. Looking sideways. CC3 plus. Can we say CC3, CC4? So, yeah, tough choice. And to pick characters, I'll be staying with. They all support all these. They all are very much game ready. They don't really hit performance that much. And right now, recording and doing a lot of other stuff in the background. That's why uh, I don't get as many frames. But in general, I'm very happy with the performance of this character. And changing the characters doesn't really change the performance, they're using the same shaders. So, yeah, gonna have to pick one.